So that brings an end to our JavaScript Essentials training course. We've covered everything from the basics of logging information out to the console, to working with numbers and strings, to creating objects and working with arrays and their various functions, all the way up to dealing with more complicated things like working with JavaScript classes and regular expressions. There's lots of places that you can go now with your JavaScript knowledge. You can look at applying these skills to the browser. So if you're working on designing and building web pages, you can use JavaScript to work with the document object model or DOM to update various parts of a web page and provide some life and interactivity to those pages. Another option is to start looking at Node.js, which is JavaScript working on the server side, which is the same JavaScript that we've been looking at, but focused more on dealing with network requests, working with files, cryptography, databases, and many other things as well. Whichever way you go, all of the JavaScript knowledge that you've gained from this course is still applicable and will help you out. So don't be afraid to come back to these lessons at any point in time, just to refresh your knowledge, because having strong knowledge of JavaScript essentials is key to mastering other areas of web development. I hope you've enjoyed this course, and I look forward to seeing you in the next Essentials training course.